Hey everybody, I'm going to show you in this video how to put Google Play Store and the framework behind it on your Fire HD 10, newest version, with no PC and no rooting your tablet. Stay tuned. Hey everybody, I just want to remind you that we are giving away a Z10 Air Mouse, which I find to be one of the best on the market right now. You need to look at this video here. It's going to tell you how to enter. I'll put a link in the description so you know which one to go to, along with any other giveaways we're having. We're not just giving away the Air Mouse. It's also coming with a OTG cable. Also, we're going to go ahead and send one of these. It is a adapter. USB adapter. It's uh, really a cool little item. We're giving all three of these one drive. So please hit that up. You'll like it for your chance of winning. Hey everybody, I just wanted to give you a reminder that we're giving away Fire Stick 4Ks and Fire Stick Lights. All you have to do is check this video right here. I have the link in the description for you. Check out our other giveaways too. You know, the Fire HD 10 tablet has got to be one of the best tablets out there for under $200. But it can be better and putting google play store on it is going to be one of the best things you can do for it now i actually got this one tablet here i have more than one but i got this one tablet on a cyber monday sale for 70 dollars okay and it, it's i can't complain with that at all this is it's a great tablet it's a great way to go you might want to take a look at it and it may work for you now i'm gonna work on doing maybe a my drone with it too but ah, that's for a later video but go ahead and check the link below if you want to get one i try to pick the best deals for you so go ahead and hit that link and see what it's going for today but as i was saying the fire 10 hd tablet is just a great tablet it really is but like i said it could be better and being able to install apps from the google play store is one of those things that's going to make it a lot better play your games on it and all that kind of stuff so let's take a look at it now we used to have to use a you know a laptop with software and get into it that way to update it to the google play store we no longer have to do that i'm going to show you just an easy way to do it without doing that with a pc and without rooting the tablet now be sure that you do this in the same order that i'm going to show you in this video okay or it may not work hey but first do me a favor and if you're not subscribed please subscribe it means a great deal to me and if you could hit that little bell notification it's going to tell you when another video comes out and if you've entered our drawings you want to make sure you have that bell notification so you'll be notified when a winning video goes out and you might have won something so be sure to do that and if you would give me a thumbs up i appreciate it so much it's really a great thing to do it helps the channel out a lot and please remember to share this video across your social network if it helps you, it's going to help them and it helps us. So please do that. And I thank you so much for your support. Okay. The first thing I would say is you want to do this on your tablet. Okay. Is to watch this video on your tablet. So go ahead and pause here and open up your tablet and watch it on it. Just so it's easier for you when you have the links all right there. Okay. First, open your Silk browser and go to the first download. It's going to be the Google Account Manager. Click on the Download APK. An APK is an install file for an Android. That's all it is. Then allow the permissions to install it. Now, it may take some time, but it'll download. Then go ahead and install it. Second, click on Google Services Framework 9. Now, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to go to APK Pure, and we're going to go ahead and download that and get it installed. Okay, we're ready for number three. Let's go to Google Play Services. Get this the same way you did the other ones, and we're going to go ahead and install it. Okay, last but not least, let's go to Google Play Store APK and get it downloaded, and we're going to get the dude set up. Okay, once you're done getting all these downloaded and installed and everything went well, uh, and you didn't have any internet outage or anything like that, do a restart. Not just power off, but go ahead and do a restart on your tablet. Okay, now once it's open, see, Google Play is now installed with the framework to run it. Now, in the description, I'm going to go ahead and put those links for you so you don't have to go hunting for them. 
is go ahead and get those. That's what I want you to do. It on, I wanted you to do it on the tablet so you can just click on the link and it'll take you right in the tablet. So, but be sure that you do it one, two, three, and four. I sure hope that helped you. It that's what we're here for. And if it did, please hit the subscribe button. I'd appreciate that, along with a thumbs up. That helps everything. Now, if this helped you, I know you know a lot of people out there that this may help. So please share it with them and on your Facebook and so forth, just to get this out so they can have a better tablet. I just want to say thank you to all my supporters and all my viewers. Thank you so much and have a fantastic day and I'll see you on the next one. I just want to say thank you for watching the whole video to the end and I want to appreciate everybody that does that. Uh, if you would though, if you're not subscribed, hit that little button right here. It will help the channel tremendously. And as always, maybe look at our other videos here and you might get an idea of what you want next on your system. And until next time, I'll see you.